why is a designer learning Python? Right, give me three minutes and I'll try and answer it as best as I can. So uh, I've been a designer for 15 years and one of the things that I think every person, every designer uh, needs to do is to understand you know, the products and services that they're designing for. When you're designing digital uh, device uh, platforms for digital devices, it's always good to understand how they work. So um, even though you don't need to know code as, as a UX designer, as a UI designer, it's always good to uh, know a little bit, a bit of code just so you can have a better relationship with, uh, with developers. And that's all the front-end technologies. But the reason that I've been learning Python is that I've noticed some big trends in the past couple of years, like uh, the, the obvious everyone's been looking at all these AI tools. And all these AI tools, they're all built in a language called Python. And here in the UK, they're teaching uh, primary school and secondary school kids Python. Uh, my kids go to primary school, and to be honest, I just don't want to be left behind in this whole revolution. Uh, if AI is going to take my job, then I want to understand at least what it's doing. So by learning basic Python, I've been doing just an hour a morning and 50% through um, a course at the moment. And it's been interesting. It's been interesting to learn. Actually, it, to be honest, the language is not that difficult. It's all written in kind of like spoken English. And it's all it's, it's all quite simple. Uh, although the stuff you can do with it is very, very complex. There's a lot of maths that I've had to catch up on that I didn't really enjoy in school. I was actually terrible at it. But I'm trying to learn as I go along. And I'm learning what you can do with... Um, you know, numbers, text, and kind of how these AI chatbots and everything work. But I think it's good. I think, to be honest, to stand out in a crowd now where you're not just competing against people from your local area, when companies are looking to hire people from around the world, it's always good to have more strings to your bow. And my philosophy on life is Kaizen, and that's constantly improve. And as a designer, you should always be improving your skill set. So by doing just like subtly, like an hour a day, half an hour a day, these things add up over time. And it, I've noticed just by doing an hour a day, I'm halfway through a 25 hour course in two weeks. And to me, that's a, that's great because I, I've learned a new skill. I'll get a certificate at the end of it. I can put it on my LinkedIn. And the more you build yourself up with a designer, I look at things differently now. I, I kind of have more respect for backend developers, the work that they're doing. I kind of understand it a little bit more. It's not going to change the way I approach my uh, my job, but it, it will will definitely make me more respected because I'll be able to talk to them on their own language in meetings and things like this. It will look good on my LinkedIn when I put it out there. And also I'll be able to have more informed discussions with just other people in the industry. And um, it's good to stay on top of trending topics and what's going on. So hopefully that explains why you should keep on learning, why you should life is constantly improving as a designer, it's not required for the job, but to span, stand out in today's job market, the more skills that are relevant, the better. Time's up.